I spoke to members with two Lafayette crews who say it's going to be a way to make up for lost times. They're busy planning their balls and parades for carnival season. It's a relief. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a sign that our, our community is getting back to normal. I'm excited about it. We've been waiting for this. So we plan all year long. I also spoke to the Lafayette Convention and Visitor Commission. Their president and CEO says having Mardi Gras brings tens of millions of dollars to our area. We pride ourselves on being the second largest Mardi Gras in the state and a, a very family-friendly Mardi Gras. And that's one thing I'm very proud of is we're always able to deliver on that uh, aspect, very safe and family-friendly Mardi Gras. Plus, just like the crews, he says there's optimism moving forward. You know, we've ha we have 100,000 people in a football stadium, so I don't see any reason why you can't have uh, Mardi Gras rolling in the streets outside and give people the opportunity to spread out as they need. We have a very long uh, parade route, and so I think everything's in place, in line for it to happen, and I know we're all looking forward to that. Both crews tell me since they had to put their party on pause last year, they're feeling a bit of pressure for the upcoming season. The feeling that you have at midnight on New Year's Eve, that's what you're going to have for about two and a half hours. It's, um, it's just a nonstop party. With Mardi Gras just a little more than 100 days away. Get your party clothes ready, so because it's it'll be a good time no matter what. <laughs> Both crews tell me they'll be monitoring state and local guidelines to make sure their events are safe. In studio, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.